Hi everyone, let's talk about how to parent our teens. The first thing I want us to remember is we are all going through a pandemic and we must give each other grace. So keeping that in mind, let's go through a few strategies on how to parent our teens effectively. The first thing is let's acknowledge their infractions. So what do I mean by that? You know, sometimes uh, children don't know what the right thing to do is. So they commit some mistakes. There are small minor infractions that they commit for which we discipline them very harshly. So try to understand their point of view and try to acknowledge their infractions. Um, say that, hey, uh, I see that this has happened. Make sure that this doesn't happen again. The reason why I don't want you to do this is this, this and this. So try to reason with them and explain to them why their behavior is not up to the mark. The next thing is hug first, ask questions later. So you see that, you know, their behavior is not up to the mark and you have some serious questions. But I request all my parents to first connect before they ask any questions. Because, you know, when the, the teens are already going through some self-critical moments right after they have committed a mistake and they're already their worst judge. So please be compassionate and try to hug first and then ask questions because uh, you're showing them by hugging them that hey you trust in them and whatever infractions have happened it's okay and we will all work together to resolve it once in a while they also don't want to talk about what has happened so please be okay with the silence leave them alone literally leave them alone okay because let them have that time to unpack it in their own mind before they approach you or you approach them. Every day words matter. You have to understand that whatever you say, whether it is uh, you're trying to discipline them or trying to make them see reason, use the right choice of words. Again, teenagers hold themselves to very, very high standards. They're very, very critical of their own behavior. So, Please try to be compassionate. The next thing is, how do you discipline your child? So what I do with my own children is, I set my expectations and stand my ground. What I mean by that is, I'd like to take a proactive measure rather than a reactive measure when it comes to disciplining. So what I do is, I set expectations. These are what I expect from you on a daily, weekly or a monthly basis. And uh, we have to stay in touch with each other and communicate with each other. So that is the expectation that I set with my child. And then I expect him or her to follow through. So uh, what I do is I use guilt and not shame to keep them accountable. What, what do I mean by that? So usually if I can explain to my child that, hey, uh, remember, I asked you to give me a report on what has been happening this week and I haven't heard from you yet. So that's a simple approach. Instead of like, I always keep telling you to tell me Thursday evening uh, what has been happening throughout the week. You know, you never listen to me or you never follow through or anything. Using shame actually leads to them um, becoming more and more, you know, self-critical. It eats away into their self-worth. So make sure that you're using only guilt, not shame to get work done out of them. The next thing is explain to them the pain of self-discipline versus the pain of regret. What I mean by that is pain from self-discipline is also just as painful as the pain of regret. But if they procrastinate, um, if they don't uh, do a few things that they're supposed to do, that regret that they should have done is much more painful than the pain of the self-discipline of sitting through their tough work. So explain to them that, hey, do you want the pain of self-discipline, which only lasts temporarily, or do you want the pain of regret that lasts much, much longer? So this is how you can connect with your child before you communicate. Good luck.